All right, so we have that uh, that whole fun camera issue where we have to break, but we are back now. And as I was getting ready to say, I need to give you props, and it's my personal thing. But uh, you did go to uh, the same high school as uh, a pretty known band. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of uh, pop punk kids in this town, and uh, and Blink 182 is kind of a thing. So I uh, I read an interview, another interview somebody did uh, with you guys, and. Uh, it, that was brought up, and I, I believe it was you were quoted by saying that you know everybody wanted to kind of follow in their footsteps, but it just wasn't your sound, it wasn't your thing. You wanted to make your own way, and yeah, I think that's really cool. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, it wasn't as like it wasn't that like oh, I could do my own thing, man. I don't dig this band. It was just yeah, like I was, literally. Yeah, I was paraphrasing. No, no, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I just but like yeah, I didn't like Blink One in high school. I mean, I I have more of a like for them now than I used to, just because. At the time, everybody in my high school was starting bands and covering Blink-182 and all that stuff because we went to the same high school. And, um, I mean, yeah, it was just like, that was what the scene was. It was just a pop-punk thing because of who was came from there. Right. And it, it's it's cool, but it, it definitely doesn't go away. That's what San Diego is known for, oh, SeaWorld and Blink-182. It's so. pretty amazing how, yeah. like, how much their legacy still is felt in San Diego. Like, oh, every band is just like Blink-182. Yeah. See, and I'm just so not a Blink fan. I didn't even know they were from San Diego. Yeah. Like, yeah. no, I was an MXPS girl, so you say Bremerton, I'm, I'm all the way there. That was my roots. I'm a little older, but uh, Blink Blink was, they were okay. They were on the radio. Yeah. That wasn't my scene. Uh, they did good for them. They did a lot of stuff. They did. They're, they're right. very well off. Yeah, right. they're doing all right. So, I mean, I don't think right. they care Rob, if anybody doesn't like Rob, them. I, I, I don't dislike their music. I just like the hype. But that's, that's a whole other thing. Moving on. So, you guys have been in a band for a couple of years, this band. You've been in other bands as well. What's your favorite tour story? Any band, any group, any time, any tour. Funniest thing you can remember off the top of your head that happened on a tour. Well, that stuff happened the first tour, but like, um, that's kind of old. Um, um, something happened last night that was kind of crazy. We were in Chicago and St. Patrick's Day, and I was trying to move the van from the front of the venue to the back so we can load out and leave. And I mm -hmm. heard honking and some kind of like argument going on. And this guy's like, "Hey!" And I turn and I look, and there's like a traffic jam. <laughs> This guy's trying to pull into a parking spot, and the driver of the car who yelled leaned out of the driver's seat and, and holding a, an open bottle of Fireball. <laughs> He's like, "People are trying to drive here." <laughs> I'm like, "Oh my god, like, Chicago!" Welcome to Chicago. Does not chill. Well, no, not really, not really, not at all. Welcome to Chicago. Yeah, uh, there was a Chicago band called Kill Hannah that actually had a song called Welcome to Chicago, uh, oh, okay. Mother Effer. That was the, that was the name of the song in parentheses. Yeah. So, um, pretty weird. Uh, as far as touring, uh, what snacks do you have to have? Every band's got something oh. they have to have with them at all times. Snacks. Oh. You gotta have something. Um. Every gas station stop, everywhere you go, you got to have one. I think we all have like different tastes. Right yeah. well, as far as community, we're pretty dry. Right well, now. individually then. When it comes well, to well, snacks. Well, well, okay, so we'll go around. Ryan, what's I your like favorite goldfish. snack? You like goldfish? Yeah. Goldfish crackers? Goldfish is. I like goldfish. <laughs> I like goldfish. <laughs> what about you, Mikey? Um, I like like salt and vinegar chips. Yum. Those are really good, yeah. Yum. I just discovered um, this like the Keebler, the little elf like mm -hmm. things or whatever like whatever company that is they've had these crackers called like sam's club crackers or whatever they're, like buttery and just <laughs> salty like enough the, they're amazing the crackers they're like rich crackers that aren't rich no not, not those not <laughs> no those are, those are oyster crackers aren't they yeah you're thinking are you thinking of like the tiny yeah. ones yeah, like just like yeah. uh salty crackers i was thinking like rich kinda, crackers it, yeah it's like yeah. a mix between the two it's amazing they're so good crackers yeah. chips and goldfish yeah I, I have a sweet tooth i was gonna i was yeah. hoping you did i eat cookies and stuff uh there's these Candies actually, <laughs> called trolley eggs. You know, like trolley, and they make like uh, gummy worms uh -huh. and stuff. Yeah. They have these things called eggs, and they're like they're like gummy worms, but they have like a hard shell. Mm. So you chew it, and you have to like break through the shell, and then it's like a gummy worm consistent. I don't know. I love it. <laughs> I love See, it. that's great. I have a friend, uh, Kevin, that's in a band that tours, comes through every once in a while. He always wants pop tarts, ice cream, pop tarts. Every single time he comes to St. Louis. <laughs> they're always. known for their pop tarts here. <laughs> uh, I mean, they, they're everywhere, but that's what he likes. So we're gonna cut one more time, come back, and uh, talk a little bit about the uh, the the CD or the album and. Metal. <laughs>